Okay, we had a quorum at the point of time. Well, um, we need to end this meeting at 10.45 while the afternoon session starts from 3 to 7 will extend 15 minutes at maximum. We are reminded members, if you have any direct or but indirect procurement interest on today's agenda items, according to RP 83A, uh, please disclose the nature of the interest before you speak. And also ask members to take note on RP 84 on the voting on the procurement interest. We need to deal with um, 10 items that require no recommendations. I will make a declaration at once. I'm the uh, director of the uh, chairman of the Alap uh, Welling Insurance Group and also the director of the Welling Insurance Company and the Welling Club Insurance. And first, mm -hmm. item FCR 2020 And urge members to. Uh, Endorse the recommendation of PDPSC at meeting on the 31st of May 2019. The upgrading of remaining part of 181WF of the in situ provisioning of Shatin treatment work main works of the bus of uh, out of uh, 7 billion. And for this 355WF, the upgrade of Shanghai Al fresh water supply system, upgrading to uh, part 1. And the uh, 388WF improvement uh, of the upgrading of Shanghai Yi Awang fresh water supply system at a cost of $207 million. And 368WF between Dongjiang water wings and P4 at Shangshui and Fanling at the cost of $1.71 billion. And 196WC implementation of the water intelligence network at a cost of $1.236 billion. And no further questions. We we'll now put FCR 2021 Marker Twins for to vote. For those who agree, please put your hand. Bell round for five minutes. Sixty-five. Number, 
够时间搵嘅，打钟。搵三五，佢都系三五就好薄啊！三五系好薄，佢咧就三五原来好薄，佢咧就中间接住我睇唔到都暂时啊，好薄啊！好嘅，好薄啊！嗯。My remind members that oh, uh, whether we on Dossi proposes feature in FCR 2020 21 35. Begin the high tip. Voting begins. Voting has stopped to show the results. 21 for it. There's no ob objections. I think the proposal is endorsed. Members who just come in will need to uh, vote on 10 items that require no discussion. 項目請本委員會通過公務小組委員會喺二零二零六月十號會議上就PWSC二零一九二零廿八個文件提出嘅建議啦，將八一二CL號工程計劃咧由唐碧雲道公營房屋發展之土地平整同埋基礎設施工程
Voting begins. The vote is now closed. We will display the results. We have <coughs> 20 in favor, zero objections, so the papers and endorsed. Item 3, FCR 2020-21-36. <coughs> Members are <coughs> requested to recommend a, rec a recommended uh, <coughs> to endorse the creation of the supernumerary post in the ASD with immediate effect upon approval by the FC uh, to provide overall steer and supervise the implementation of the health care projects under the first 10-year hospital development plan. Those in favour? We'll ring the bell five minutes.
。現在開始表。Voting begins. <coughs> the polls now close, and we will display the result. We have twenty-two in favour, zero objection. So I declare that the paper is endorsed. We now move on to item four. Uh, <coughs> Uh, the com committee is <coughs> requested to endorse recommendation of the establish establishing subcommittee made on June 17 for the creation of two permanent uh, non civil service positions <coughs> of one chief accident and safety investigator equivalent to the rank of D2 and one deputy chief accident and safety investigator and one supernumerary post of assistant director general of civil aviation in the transport branch of the Transport and Housing Bureau to lead the Independent Air Accident Investigation Authority under a permanent setup in order to comply with the ongoing and binding requirements of the International Civil Aviation Organization. <clears throat> Mr. Chukafai, uh, can we switch the, <clears throat> uh, the, the time to one minute? Well, these are this is an independent item, so we cannot actually, you know, <clears throat> Change it to one minute. I think we've already <coughs> dealt with four items. There are six more to go. Thank you. 
Yin Zhang Haji Bill Quit. Voting begins. Voting has stopped with short results. Twenty one four, three objections and no abstentions are decided. The proposal is approved. A fifth item FCR twenty 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 one thirty eight. And urge the members to uh, endorse the recommendation of PDSC meeting held on the twenty fourth of June. And I'm upgrading to 19 EK library extension and vitalization, upgrading to category 8 estimated cost of $406 million. At one, we claim division. Please ring the bell for five minutes. Please say something. Uh, very briefly, while this uh, item has been much trouble that we were drawn last year, well, within two weeks, the government. How we draw the university funding proposal in three times in a row. I see that as a politics uh, putting on top of uh, education. I hope the government just refrains doing that. If you withdraw this engineering works and he claimed that they don't know the scale of damage, thus, uh, we're not able to produce a project timetable. And Abstick and Kevin Young said this and he claim that where the education system is flawed and hope the universities need to go self-reflection where the campus are being too open. May I remind the government to not put politics above the tertiary education on such a livelihood projects and please not uh, uh, put his hand in this as the whole institution is about respect the institutional autonomy well, you claim your campus is being too open and you uh, advocate for a uh, uh, con close to control. That is not a university in a global city <coughs> and adopt this kind of approach. I hope government should take note and the government should not put their hands into university affairs. Next, Dr. Fisher Leo. Well, um, Chairman, uh, well, uh, Dr. Chen wished the power to be passed and shouldn't be uh, adding so much footnote. We see for ourselves um, the security of uh, the institutions have some serious problem. I work for a university. I assault uh, petrol bombs and uh, and multiple cocktails scattering across the campuses. Well, this kind of security issues have cost students, teachers, and security staff uh, uh, that um, uh, injured. Well, what well, we would like to let this pass uh, of the remarks we made and uh, uh, simply adding a political footnote. Well, you want the universities to return to normal. That we need to have a review on all fronts. Well, fortunately, they have been uh, swiftly across every instead of spreading to other campuses, and a lot of the students were claiming that people to outside of who well, not students have entered the campus. Well, actually, not allow, uh, blocking the teachers from attending lectures, which spread a lot of panic, and some a uh, Singaporean. I'm um, actually asking people to be neutral, and the offices got vandalized. Uh, how will we see this as normal? Uh, we shouldn't have uh, anything. Well, well, just state that it, the universities warrant this extension. If not, otherwise there will be a debate on this. Mr. Shukafai. Okay, let's have a two-minute round. Let me respond to Dr. Chang. 
Well, when we debated the item last year, there are some comments in the community. Well, uh, the destruction at the polio camps, of course, committed by a small number of students. Well, however, there are some views in the community. Well, two points. Well, for the government, who would need to uh, do some uh, renovations, but however, the camps and destruction, they need to reassess. May I ask Dr. Chen, well, how outrageous could this be? If government uh, got this view, you see the camp has been destroyed while you talk about the refurbishments. How can they not stop the work and to t uh, take a look at it? And he claimed that the, uh, due to political factors, the government uh, not agreed to go ahead with the proposal. I can play the witness to this. The government kept calling me and asked me to uh, support this project. I have been lobbied. To approve this project, so what you said is it was incorrect. Well, now this is put into a vote, and please uh, do not put this frame and party. Let's see who will vote against it. Well, then will show us whether they will approve the refurbishment project, and please don't put the students and the politics mi mixing them together. Well, now the national security law uh, uh, has been passed, and let the student go home to see their parents instead of uh, troubling them. And uh, Mr. what's going on? Well, I wouldn't get furious if Dr. Chang have not spoken. Well, what happened to Paul Yu last year uh, was still uh, uh, fresh in the public mind. Today we talk about a university project. Well, the Paul Yu had a severe problem that is close to the uh, harbor crossing. Well, that is the ch crit <coughs> critical point uh, that the, the two foot bridges could have locked down the harbor crossing. Besides uh, um, approving for the construction of the library, well, 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 you have to consider the um, harbor crossing and exit and the two foot bridges. It's more that university. It's just the uh, traffic all over Hong Kong uh, will be in chaos. Besides politics, is would also be the actual traffic problem. Well, uh, Paul, you should also consider. If the they will consider how to properly address the relationship between the Paul U campus and the two foot bridges and the Eastern Harbor and the Harbor Tunnel. Well, uh, Dr. Holden Chow, well, the rioters have turned Paul U in the base to paralyze the traffic in the whole area. It was always <coughs> immense nuisance to the residents. Well, Dr. Cheng uh, could have pretend to have seen nothing. Uh, what he said today. Let me tell you. Well, this Paul Yu extension project. There. Well, after the Black Cloud violence, we know that the riders can use this uh, as a base. I hope they could enhance the security arrangements. I could not be uh, leveraged as a base for violence. Well, that was quite clear cut. Well, uh, uh, well, now that he bring it up, I think suppose we have to explain clearly. Well, the public all see that how the poly will use as a base for and and paralyze the travel of Hong Kong. How dangerous could it be? Well, and yet um he pretend nothing have happened. I think we say it on public record that we support the uh, extension of the live project. There should be in security in place. Learning from what happened last year, we should not let a repeat of this last year again. Mr. Yip Kenyon, uh, the uh, library extension. The, and well, the it hasn't been updated in the past four years. I hope that that this education project, regardless of party lines. Uh, Uh, to approve this project, improved our tertiary education. I believe that there's a consensus. I hope, well, for political topics, we are uh, entitled to our divergent views for what happened last year, what the pandemics or the post uh, came, I suppose, our views on North and South. I hope that these differences will not uh, spill onto this uh, project. 
Any other members who would like to speak? Other than Dr. Cheng, anyone else? I'll put it this way. We're not supposed to discuss this. Okay, I'll leave some discretion. I suppose everyone should have one round. If you have a second round, there will be a third or a fourth round. There will be no difference in normal debate. I suppose that people, members have expressed their views. Should we ring the bell? Let's just, by show of hands, let the bell ring for five minutes. Well, that would never end, okay? I make a make a ruling. I don't think they will be discussed. Well, uh, they will be uh, other will be responded to one another. We have lots of business. We have forty four items worth four hundred two billion worth of proposal yet to be approved. Mr. Eddie Chu. I'm not discussing this. Of the 44 items, can you show us the list? It will be issued today. You will uh, squeeze on today, Monday's agenda. Well, well there will be a bunch on 13th and 14th, and there are a dozen more on the 17th, altogether 44. How about this? From what I heard, the last week council may spill on to Friday. I hope the government can provide a full list of the items on Monday. We'll be issue it tonight instead of waiting for Monday. Ms. Claudia Mo, of uh, uh, Chairman, I heard that the Kerala administration uh, insists to put the uh, land tower reclamation on the agenda. What well, the land tower commission? Yes. Well, uh, they discuss it with me. Well, frankly, well, the likelihood of ever getting there is quite slim, and their members have so much views on that. <coughs> well, the government decided to put it on the agenda, but very low on the list. Probably the last or the second last item of the agenda. I suppose you wouldn't have been too sensitive about it. We should just deal with the rest of normal. With all limited time, like Mr. Edichu said, uh, what, what would happen on Friday, maybe the chairman requires uh, some time whether and uh, how we divide up the time is up for discussion. You will know later. I personally think that uh, we try to deal with as much item as possible, but world reality, it just really depends. I just want a follow-up question. Uh, where the, where the government will uh, uh, advance the land tower reclamation item. Well, if they are doing so, they probably put it up front today. Well, I think there's a very low on the agenda. We have probably around item 40 on the whole list. Well, you will uh, seal it for sale later today. Well, you can. Uh, I just like to make a simple point, Chairman. I like you to exercise some your influence on the government. So I don't think we should put it on the agenda. The <clears throat> chair has already made a sensible decision. And this is something that is very controversial. Why don't we simply take it out of the agenda? I think that will help expedite things. I think with <clears throat> your wisdom, you will know that. So I think we all <clears throat> are worried that the government may jump the gun. So. Uh, so I think there is a consensus among members. So uh, I think we should focus on the non-controversial items instead of putting this controversial <coughs> item uh, at the end of the agenda. So just an humble suggestion for your consideration, Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Wen, for your <coughs> uh, comment. I think the government has this position, so do members and myself as well. I hope that uh, we can all achieve our objective. I'm just proposing a compromise here. The government would like to state its position, so do members. But I can tell members that, realistically speaking, I don't think we'll be able to 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 <clears throat> to, to really, you know, uh, uh, you know, process that item. I'm I'm also object. I would also strongly object to, you know, government trying to actually, you know, <clears throat> you know, uh, jump the gun. So I don't think members would need to be unduly worried. 
I don't want to spoil my own personal image as well. So I don't think members need to worry. It begins now. The vote is now closed and we will display the result. 24 in favour, one objection and zero abstention. So I declare that the paper is approved. The next item is SCR, <coughs> uh, FVR 2021 <coughs> 2021 <coughs> Members are, <coughs> are invited to approve the recommendation <coughs> of the PWIC to um, upgrade 95 EB to category A at an estimated cost of $285.3 million in money of the day prices for the partial redevelopment and conversion of the Hong Kong Chinese Women's Club College at <coughs> Taichung Street, Saiwan Ho. We'll ring the bell for five minutes.
All right. Yeah. Well, then begins now. The poll is now closed and we will now display the results. 25 for and zero objections, so the paper is now endorsed. We will now <coughs> deal with FER FCR 2020-2140. Members are invited to approve the recommendations of the PWSC to upgrade 187GK to Category A at an estimated cost of $881.9 million in money of the day prices for the construction of the Animal Management and Animal Welfare Building Complex. Would anyone like to request for division? The bell will now ring for five minutes.
Voting begins now. The polls are now closed, and we display the result. 24, 25 in favor, no objection. The paper is now endorsed. We will now move on to FCR 2021 41. Members are requested to <coughs> endorse recommendation of the PWSC <coughs> made on June 24th, 2020, to upgrade <coughs> uh, to 184 TB, the construction of a footbridge with lift tower to connect the Apple Chow Wind Tower Park and the Apple Chow <coughs> Estate, 69 RG. Amenity complex in area 103 Maon Shan, <clears throat> 78 RG entitled Amenity complex in area 103 Maon Shan, pre construction activities to category A at an estimated cost of $112.4 million, <clears throat> 1120 million, and 104 million, and 74 million in money to prices, respectively, and 428 four RO. Or rather, uh, 280 RS redevelopment of Kowloon Chai Swimming Pool Complex and 448 RO open space at Ho Fan Road, Tai Kok Chai. Would anyone request for <coughs> a division?
现在开始表决。Winning begins. Miss Claudia Mo, you've yet to press the button. 你系咪你唔谂住表决 ？OK， 诶、uh, ，You don't plan to vote？ 你睇正眼揿一出席啫，头先。Only press press the button. Voting has topped. Show the results. Twenty-seven four. No objections. I declare the item approved. Next FCR twenty twenty bracket twenty one forty five. They urge the members to approve the recommendations of the PTBSC twenty fourth June twenty twenty meeting. Set up in PWSC 2020-21 item 13 of the 440 Lei Yu Moon Waterfront Enhancement Project, upgrading it to Category A, an estimated cost of 146.9 million dollars, and 409RO Lei Yu Moon Waterfront Enhancement Project at the, the, the Waterfront Primary Development on under 3.2 million dollars at MOD prices. Anyone claim to vision? Five minutes.
现在开始 ，voting begins。现在停止。Will you stop to show the results? Twenty-eight for no objections, no abstentions. I just the item is approved. And that FCR twenty twenty twenty-one number forty-seven, and at the as committee to endorse the recommendations of the PWSC meeting on twenty-fourth of June twenty twenty, or the PWSC twenty twenty twenty-one six of A seven. Five T H noise enclosure at gas going flat over upgrading it to category A the the cost of four hundred eighty two point four million dollars and A five three T H widening of Castle Peak Road at Castle Peak Road at the cost of seven hundred fifty five point two million dollars and A five O T H new Wang Chong River Bridge at the cost of ninety nine point seven million dollars and one I know T B retrofitting a footbridge for footbridge across Castle Peak Road and Kwai Chung near M T R Taiwan. House Station Exit B. At a cost of forty-nine million dollars. Let anyone reclaim division? Okay, five minutes, please.
現在開始表決。Post now closed and we'll display the result. 2940 objection, so the paper is endorsed. We now move on to FCR 2021-43. <coughs> Members are invited to <coughs> endorse recommendation of the PWSC <coughs> made on June 24, 2020. 194 TB, Transport Infrastructure Works for Development at Diamond Hill. Uh, the <coughs> Upgrading of the project to Cat A at an estimated cost of $1,850.4 million and $615.9 million in money of the day prices. And also the Water Features Park and Landscape Walk, walk at Diamond Hill. <coughs> in, I like to declare that I am the uh, executive. Chief Executive of Wellink Insurance Group and the Director of Wellink Insurance and Wellink Life Insurance. To answer members' questions, we have uh, uh, the officials here to answer members' questions. Thank you. I have several questions regarding Footbridge 1. The landing point is <coughs> outside of the Hollywood Plaza. So I'd like to know whether you have considered the footbridge to link up directly with Hollywood Plaza. Otherwise, for people who want to go to the MTR station, they need to cross the road or go through Hollywood Plaza first. And that is not a very ideal arrangement. It, when we build a footbridge, we want to you know, separate pedestrian and vehicular traffic so that uh, people don't have to cross the road at grade. So I'd like to know why you're not able to connect this directly <coughs> to Hollywood Plaza so that the entire footbridge system can link up with the already existing footbridge network at Hollywood Plaza so that there could be <coughs> you know, a more smooth uh, pedestrian flow. Another point uh, I'm not very clear about is the traffic interchange and what the traffic flow will be like there. Cho Hung Road at the moment is already very busy. I noticed that uh, apparently there are some arrangements for the on-street bus stops to be <coughs> set back so that you can release two uh, you know, vehicular lanes. I don't know whether that is correct. So I have one suggestion for you. That is, since a lot for this section of Choi Hong Road, uh, there's very heavy bus traffic. I understand there are close to 40 bus routes traveling on this road. So I wonder whether for the <coughs> nearest lane, uh, could you sort of uh, provide a bus lane so that along bus Kachong Road, there will be a designated lane for buses rather than the buses having to go move into the lay-by and then come out again. And that certainly can help improve the traffic situation. You have an underpass at Kaisen Road linking up. Uh, uh, there are two benefits. Uh, if you do a good job at Seimei Street, then you can go out to Kun Tong Row and Prince Edward Row, and on the other side, you can go to Mong Kok via Prince Edward Row. So I've shared with your colleagues in the district that if you want to divert vehicular traffic rather than putting all the traffic along Long Chang Row before people can go out to Kun Tong Row, you need to make good use of this section of the row. But according to the chart here, Apparently, you have not <coughs> come up with a solution to facilitate the <coughs> left turn traffic from Seime Road to Prince Edward Road so that you know <coughs> vehicles can go out to Prince Edward Road East so that you can improve the, the, the very busy traffic situation there. I, uh, well, is anything that I cannot find on this plan, or so you, if you apply for fund, if you are given the funding today, could you further fine tune the details to 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 make <coughs> to to further enhance the traffic flow? 
And I understand that in the water feature park, there will be uh, a landscape area uh, using shrubs and trees and and also uh, to protect the slope there. I understand that there are many, you know, turf which are, are very popular. I always stress that using shrubs for landscaping purpose would cause the green landscape area which people can only view but cannot really enjoy you know so I wonder whether you could improve on that approach of course if you have shrubs and trees and tall trees uh, in the choice of the different species of trees you can select a particular species and you would <coughs> leave some you know you know you know uh, you know grass on the ground level, rather than putting all the shops there, which doesn't look very w good. So, if so, I think in many of our landscape projects, you're always mixing trees and shops, and I don't think that is ideal. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Wu asked for questions. Uh, regarding the overall transport arrangement, I'll defer to Mr. Lee from the Housing Department to answer that question. Regarding FB1, why is it that we do not directly <coughs> connect that to uh, <coughs> the Hollywood Plaza? According to the lease, I think we have a they had the, the landlord has the duty to link it up with our footbridge. So, so the landlord <coughs> in the at the premises concern has a duty to do that. Regarding the TDI, the new one will replace the one at Saint May Street, basically. Uh, the transfer interchange at St. May Street will be moved there and there will be, you know, m you know, taxis and minibuses there. So the existing one at Choyong Road is a lay-by, but this will not really affect the traffic along Choyong Road. And fourthly, we've heard your fourth comment regarding the different species of trees we still, you know, can can <clears throat> have a choice. So we'll certainly take on board Mr. Wu's suggestion and, and further consider the, the choice of species for the trees to be uh, planted there. For T1940B, we recommend various improvement projects along Chaoyong Road and at the various uh, junctions, we've actually conducted an assessment. We expect that by 2026, uh, traffic from Chaoyong Road going out to Longchang Road, that junction will be op will be able to operate very smoothly. Overall, uh, for under what we recommend under this project is that we will focus our attention on dealing with the <coughs> you know traffic extension uh, works along Chaoyong Road. Jeremy Tam. Thank you. I have a question regarding the footbridge at Diamond Hill. If the one which links up with Hollywood, Hollywood Plaza, of course, uh, on the side, uh, the, the owner of the landlord of uh, Hollywood Plaza has a duty to link up the premises with the footbridge. While they have the obligation, will they actually do it? And when would they do it in order to tie in with the completion of your project here? Another <clears throat> long-standing issue is that at Hollywood Plaza, once you go there, uh, on the left-hand side, there is a lane. So you don't need to go to the shopping mall and you can walk along the lane and you can link up with another footbridge going up the Fung Tuk Estate. The resident development on top of Hollywood Plaza uh, uh, that is the uh, Galaxia, since uh, the landlord has to <coughs> share the, the the maintenance cost. So, and they have very strong objection uh, regarding the connection because if you make that connection, many people use that road going up hill. A couple of years ago, we did reflect it to you and ask whether or not you can talk to the, own, the landlord of Hollywood Plaza and come up with some arrangement so that 
at the side of Hollywood Plaza, the landlord there will be willing to share the reno- renovation and maintenance of the open space there. I don't know whether there's any progress in this regard. I did recommend that uh, near the, the side of Hollywood Plaza, there's a wall. And I think they can arrange for the to have uh, the the shop premises to you know have you know extra glass partitions so that they can have one more shop front. It can help improve the business, and hence the tenants will have the landlords will have the incentive to share the cost, bear the cost for the maintenance of that pedestrian uh, passageway or corridor. And secondly. When you connect with Hollywood Plaza, can you divert the people, encourage them uh, to go into the shopping plaza or the Hollywood Plaza first before they will leave? Uh, you know, uh, so that would of course that is conditional on whether or not they can provide for a round-the-clock, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, passageway. So, have you considered how you can further? you know, allay the concerns of the landlords at the Galassia because more people will be walking along that public corridor and the and, and how how does one address the question of the maintenance cost for the uh, for the uh, corridor. I like to stress that like Mr Jeremy Tam said, there is if there's a twenty four hour Passageway. I think that is indeed requ- required under the land lease, and because of that, we we uh, we need to make that connection. We're following up, following up on that, and perhaps Ms. Yip could also update members on the latest situation. Thank you. I think we have been, <clears throat> you know, discussing this item with the the the, the district councillors there for uh, a while. Uh, given the lease for the Hollywood Plaza, and given it is a private development, so any works there, I think we're not able to interfere with how they would proceed with such uh, renovation works. So we've been listening to the views of the parties concerned and have reflected those uh, concerns to the Lands Department. Uh, really, it doesn't. It, it is not relevant to this particular project. So, at that <clears throat> point of connection, we have reserved, you know, a point for 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 the linkage in future. Well, I don't think you. you I think you've been giving us the same answer, you know, <clears throat> all along, and we've been. Dis- I've been discussing this question with you since I became electrical member. Now, if you go there yourself, uh, I think you will find that the landlord there is de- deliberately trying not to actually maintain the corridor there. Sometimes when the lights are out and the bricks are broken, they deliberately not try not to repair them. So they've not really <clears throat> discharged the obligation as the landlord because it's, it's, a, it's a public you know, <clears throat> uh, corridor. I think if you don't resolve this issue, I think that <clears throat> passageway will simply deteriorate. The condition there will deteriorate because the landlord has no incentive to, 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 to improve it. Oh, let me supplement first. Well, in the past few years, it's just in the planning stage. And when we about to commence this project, I believe that things will change. Well, early on, probably they have uh, no idea about the future traffic. Well, after the public housing moved in, I believe that, that there will be, the residents will bring them business. I suppose the lands department uh, will discuss with them under their land lease conditions. And like Ms. Jim said, and how they change within the shopping center really much depends on the landlord. Well, in fact, that we have more projects um, we about to start, I suppose the things will improve. Or we can continue to keep it in close view. Ms. Claudine Mo, I have a very quick question here. As for the water features park, is that a water feature park as some kind of a new uh, concept? Because I did notice any other parks claim themselves at water feature park, 
I've gone through your paper. You cl it claims that um, it allow people to be uh, close to water. Besides, uh, the ponds to also be um, uh, artificial rivers. I'm worried that will you get your priorities upside down for the water feature part. I personally doesn't like the word Chinese wood soy because you can't imagine well dead water. So why why do you have to emphasize the Chinese wood soy? Well, it's just a personal opinion. What well, is a water feature part uh, reprovisioning? Uh, at the uh, Stuart Historical Building, we have the um, Air Force hangar and the uh, well for the former Royal Air Force, and also uh, it, uh, the Stone House by uh, for, by the uh, former movie star Chiao Hong. Well, for such a historical attraction. It's much better than emphasizing water. We'll get plenty of the ocean park. I don't know what's the view of the district council. Do they get the uh, unanimous endorsement? Well, speaking of this uh, development, what well, the Diamond Hill CDA uh, uh, was taken as a whole, well, the project vision being that they will have a different uh, cultural uh, facilities and residences. Well, they plan D, and on the west of the site, they plan to have a open space. Well, in the past, well, in, uh, nearby, they used to have a Kajak River. That's why uh, we applied the concept of a water feature park to develop that spa open space. I'll defer to the DSD colleague on um, what are the, the department plans for the uh, pardon me. I don't need the DSD officers to ask me. I'm not objecting to this. When we talk about uh, drainage, the service department, when we talk about the uh, WFP, well, we have the uh, three trays of Tai Hum Village. Now they reprovision it inside the water feature park. It's a good idea. Well, to me, well, it seems that the uh, the water feature park costs have uh, kind of uh, upstaged the historical buildings. Just about that's all. Well, that's name of the park as uh, uh, noted Miss members' comments. Well, uh, well, well, like the SCSC. Uh, took your views on board. Well, we'll name the part. I wonder if, if the FCSD can supplement. Well, Chairman. Well, the naming of the part was. Well, we should propose the name about the completion, and we consult the district council. And for the water feature park. Well, it's just a temporary name. And that will not be named future, so you will not actually call it a uh, call a what's so going in in Cantonese because I found it quite strange. Is that the first uh park to give in this name? Because I didn't notice, I see this as being the first. Well, it's really the name of the project and. Oh, maybe um, uh, uh, it was a concept of the water park. That's why we are using this. Uh, like my colleague said, when we name this park after noticing a member's views, we'll pay extra attention and make sure that we consult the district council to seek their local views. Well, there will be different facilities inside. Where maybe uh, it's something from Chaiham Village. Uh, the well, I would definitely consider the views from other colleagues. Next, Mr. Roy, call five minutes. Good morning. Well, today we're talking about the Diamond Hill uh, Water Feature Park, the, the requesting funding of uh, over 600 million to commence the work. Well, the location is actually in Taihan Village. There are a lot of uh, 
history and stories. We have the uh, uh, former Royal Air Force and also the Stone House, the former residence of the movie star Chiao Hong. Well, a lot of people look forward to it. Well, let's not talk about what is hundred million is value for money. It is look nice and also allow the residents to enjoy it or preserve the original heritage, which I'm quite concerned about. Well, it's a place rich with history. I will let uh, give Mr. Hong enough room to elaborate. I'm more concerned about the completion date. The document shows that uh, it will co uh, complete in phases between 2023 to 2024. You once set to 2020 uh, 20 to 2023. That means you're two years behind. Well, I had experience at the FC. I see some of the projects will eventually get delayed. First, I would like uh, to ask about delay. Are you absolutely confident that you can definitely complete by 2023-24? Well, such a site with so much history, how could you uh, preserve the heritage to um, unreached our future generations? Well, two questions here. As for the future park design, I'll defer to Ms. Jim of the Housing Department to elaborate. As for the timetable, and back in 2013, but the planning department had already stopped planning for this site. We'll check it as for the holistic approach. While well, from 2013 onwards, we consult the district council. And we also conducted a workshops and keep briefing the district council. In 2015-16, that the OZP had become finalized. As for the detailed design stage. We also consult the district council on that as well. Of course, uh, there are different proposals which for our consideration, which we have modified accordingly. So for 2019, we finally uh, had no objection with district council and they've been queuing at the finance committee for funding ever since. I'll leave it to uh, Ms. Uh, Chim to talk about the concept. Well, let me interject. Thank you, Mr. Hong. That uh, proves that, uh, well, having an oasis in an idle piece of land in the dense urban area, well, you come to, to do consultation. Well, uh, the matter on the Corporation Council, I saw a news term DC. I hope that you can keep up the progress. I believe that all well, things will be much quicker. Next, I would like to and listen on the design aspects of the uh, three I should say, uh, the uh, former uh, Air Force hangar. Well, well, uh, a lot of the components of High Fisher Valley Harvard, many of them have gone rusty. Well, actually, uh, would uh, put it under new structure and. We have this can uh, impression and also the layout plan. Well, uh, is a pink color, which is quite huge. We'll uh, use a big structure, a new structure to uh, replicate the actual size, and we'll actually show the uh, architecture elements. As for the old pillbox, well, it's been uh, uh, reprovisioned, uh, uh, actually, um, to um, preserve it and will uh, uh, rebuild it in the park. As you can see, a smaller spot. As for the stone house, uh, since it's uh, constructed in stone, already um, uh, assembled in pieces and properly kept in the future. We will build a new uh, st structure. Half of the old stones will be used as a facade. Just uh, like like a merry house. So basically, you're keeping the stuff and uh, constructing 
it using the old just well, we need to return the venue to the housing uh, uh, health planet will return in the afternoon